And as we're watching our airship, as we can see over there, the HMS Hades and Styx are coming up there. And welcome back to Anno. Finally, we can follow the trace of the lost expedition with our airships there. The search resumes. And I will follow the tracks from the icebreaker. Clear tracks leading away from the boats. And there we can see the tracks as well. So let's follow it through the ice here. So we cannot settle here. This is really just the endless ice. There is something though. Let's pick it up. Oh, if I could. Read the notes. We've been forced to abandon the HMS Styx and Hades. We waited the entire summer for the thaw, but the weather gods were against us. They're still stuck fast in the ice. I'm certain we can still find the northwestern passage by foot walking inland. We filled two lifeboats with essential supplies and we'll pull them over the snow like sleds. When next we find water, it will be a passage to the east. So then the lifeboats can row us so to a safe haven. Saved. And just a bit, uh, just a week after this, the man tired dragging two lifeboats was perhaps ambitious, so they've been stopping to rest at regular intervals. I've ordered that all remaining supplies be trusted to one of the lifeboats from now on, giving us double their pulling power. Despite setbacks, morale is good, and we've lost no man since winter on Baffling Island. Alright, read the notes and follow the tracks. There's the next one. There's a little camp, as we can see. It's looking really cold there. We are at a crossroads to determine the best way forward. I send a team led by Commander H. Sturgeon through the canyon to the north. Snow dunes. And no team has returned yet. And only two of the three teams have returned. I fear the worst has befallen Edgar Couch's man at risk we all took. So there we have now two paths. And yeah, let's actually have a look up there to the north. Quite a lot of puffs here. Oh, and one of our expeditions has returned. The rescue mission three star. Nope. Okay, like since there is no expedition really. We want to continue here. There is something. But I think that is just some supplies there. Lost expedition scrap. That's the end of it. And then we have to the east. Let's have a look over there, where this one leads us. Another expedition scrap, so we can use that for crafting and something like that. And oh, this is not looking good. Those, this is Lieutenant Commander Edgar Couch. There's the end of him. As we can see. So let's continue into the other direction. Some scraps up there, let's take them with us. You never know when you need it. Oh, that is actually an ivory gull for the Sioux. Okay, but um, cargo hold is getting quite tight, so I don't know if I want to keep that. Seems to have survived here so long. There we can continue, what's that? Some supplies there on the ground. Some more supplies over here then. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone survived here. Another dead one, AB Simon Wolf. Lies there in the snow. Some more scrap. Nothing we can do up here. So let's go back. There is something. There is Santa Claus. <laughs> there is Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't believe that. Yeah, he's living here on the North Pole, as we all know. He's got a house and an igloo. So both of them. There the dwarves live in. Or there is the that's the entrance to his underground laboratory and factory. <laughs> that's a nice one. We cannot rescue him though. He lives here. And I think I've lost the track I'm here now. It's ready to go. The idiot is back. Oh, oh, heavens. I, 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 I thought you would have... took minimal revision. Heading set. 
censorship is not okay did i miss something here find out which way they went all right only two have returned but we'll take the path they he took his cannon tapered to a dead end god thank him report something more promising the ground looks too weak for the boat but i'm sure we'll think of something you lost an influence bonus and just there we have another camp read the notes perhaps the warnings of these inuit had worth the ice desert desert has been treacherous and we've lost both man and equipment i see darkness in the eyes of the living not that their companions lie buried if you knew that we are also at the end of our supplies you might understand their anger but they're loyal men and know they cannot hope to survive long they will only challenge me if i admit defeat and that i refuse a sheer mountain lies ahead i have had to stifle my shock at its sudden appearance and at the perilous climb we must now undertake for morale among the men is already low i would not appear in my right mind as their leader if i asked them to turn and face the horrors of the desert we had all through a thought behind us no we climb and meeting us at this summit i believe will be a view upon the shimmering water of northwest passage that shall state the hunger Okay, they climbed up here. There is another dead one. I have several dead ones. Jebediah Springs. And then even up here, and our airship just takes that with a second. There we continue. Lots of dead men. Another camp. Lost my best man, Commander Sturgeon, in the mountains. Poor man was too anxious to prove me right. Some made it, but all hungry and desperate. You need shovel loads to fuel your belly up here, and we have no food at all. There were grunts and growls in the night. Either we eat the resident bears, or they eat us. Must be to come here. And I just want to see where a new island has been discovered. Oh, over here, look at that. Far away, another plateau. A a and, oh, Hugo has settled down here too. I'm surprised at that. He's ambitious, so we get Hugo and the Admiral now in the Arctic. A few more scraps, or one scrap there, and there we continue. Oh yeah, they went in here it seems. And there are the bears. Joseph Sargent. More dead ones. Lots of people. Oh, we're really far to the north now. There is something. The strike has More dead ones. Daniel Hodgson. Sir John has entrusted me, Lieutenant Commander Remy de Yeu, with the completion of his log, as he no longer has the strength to put pen to paper. Still, there likely won't be many more entries left for me to write. We are no longer killed by bears, but have been lost days and weeks in high valleys that all look the same, having lost our compass. We are now only six, Captain John Faithful, Sergeant, the first mate, Little and Engineer Hodgkinson, and an assistant surgeon, Irving, a ship's boy, and myself. The boy lives because he is a good lad, and none of us could suffer to eat of him. The bear meat never was going to last, you see. Sir John did ha have a swear never to speak of that shame, but who does he think we will tell? Right, let's follow this one here. More dead ones. Sir John speaks again. He says the silhouette of a great wolf came to him in his sleep and that he wishes to meet us. Our pack is down to three. Sir John, the boy, and me, Remy de Yeux. We shall remember Sergeant Little and Hodgkinson. We shall remember the others who tripped and fell, who froze, who fell ill, who starved, who drowned, who were maimed by bears, who slipped on high or fell through the cracks. And we shall remember those who, when we ran out of food, drew the short straw in vain. If a passage exists, we have not found it. But though he is mad, I will accompany Sir John to the end. The ferocious ship's boy Irving is our guardian spirit. 
The same who, with superhuman strength, was able to fend off grown men in the snow who were after his legs for supper. Alright. Where are we? There is something. Oh, and there's a survivor. Three survivors. I think we found them. Rescue the lost expedition. Before the gods, we were doomed from the beginning. My stubbornness, my vile, reckless ambition. I should have died out there with them. I should have died. John, my John. John, no more. I'm a phantom, my love. An exile condemned to this twilight plane for eternity. Say whatever you like, John. I did everything I could to find you and have absolutely no intention of giving up now. I never could ask you. I am sorry about Sir John. He's had a hard time. They all have. I am ever so grateful. And do not think I have forgotten your reward. But for now, I must get my dear husband home. Alright, and with that we finished it. Sir John Faithful found Sir John and Lady Jane reunited. Lady Faithful praised the crucial work of Valken Delaney. The three heroic survivors returned. To loved ones at long last, Sir John Faithful, decorated for his courageous leadership, claims they partook in anthropophagy vehemently tonight. I'm so confused with all the people talking to me all the time. <laughs> they definitely did not eat one Just another. Under attack. Oh boy. Anne, why? Why are you doing this? Jin. Call that a storm. <laughs> I don't need telling. A in true pirate. Right, so I've that's that. Um, there we have it, the saving grace. Um, the Lost Expedition's Odyssey has finally come to an end. All that remains is to bring safely back home and collect your final reward. Because oh, look at that. Legendary Hades like replica blues. for the museum. For airships, movement speed plus 20. And loading speed plus 100% and 200,000 credits. So let's get back home there. Let's bring them back on our airship there. As we leave the high north... The endless cold that we have here, lots of supplies there. And with that, we go back home. And yeah, we do have now another task, and that is setting up a settlement on a plateau. But now we wait just for this ship here to return. Meanwhile, though, what we still have to do is, of course, in Cape Trelawney, we still have a treasure hunt. And we are here already, the Kraken's Pit. Let's have a look at that. And alligator gar. Alrighty, nothing really that makes me happy or something like that. It makes me excited. So those things are just rare and we can use them for our zoo if we want to. Now I also want to check here if everything is working accordingly. Yes, the small station has the travelers because it's working at 100%. So it is providing something for my residents. There we have that. Here, hmm, we might actually have, let's see, a little park, right? Because I don't think we need anything here. Your beer is low. That is something we need to focus on as well. But let's just have us a small little park there. Because I really haven't done much for beautification in the last days. Right. So we can use this one up here for some entry. Both sides there. And here we're going to have a corner. Some corners here. And then here in the middle we can have something like, for example, 
Uh, stature might fit in there. We could use... Oh, we could use a mini bolt fair. We could use... Hmm, that actually looks cool, right? Some of those towers there. And in the center, a fountain. Yeah, I like that one. All we need now is, once again, these pavings there. There we have them. Going to the fountain. And around it, well, we might just have some flowers. Now, that is a nice little garden here with those towers around. So those towers, they sell something. We can just pretend like they're selling something, right? Because they do have these stands there, as you can see. <laughs> These waiting tables. We still need to move this one around here. And this one. So they look towards the street. And then we can actually walk through it. The beautiful church that we have there. And there we have another smaller guard here now. There you can purchase something. An ice or something like that while you walk through that little garden here in Crown Falls. Ever sunny Crown Falls, that is. Because the sun is always shining here. I haven't seen rain for quite some time now. A beautiful town. Look at that. Green. Lots of buildings. And from time to time, there's a train passing through. I really like my Sleepy Hollow. There is some empty space. Let's fill it. We should not have empty space, especially for those trees there anywhere. We have some open space here where I can place something else in there. Well, I don't know what yet. There we have still some more trees that we can squeeze in. This one here. There we have a bit of space. So those are perfect spaces for trees. Oh, and up here, lots of empty space that we still need to fill for more of that. And that actually, yeah, it might squeeze us. Those trees offer us some attraction there as well. Attractiveness. So with that, we can perhaps squeeze it then to the maximum there. Because we are only a superior metropolis again. Of course, we want to change that as well. Those ones here, we're probably going to have a train station. Yep. Yeah. Very good. There is a train station then for that marketplace here. More trees here. And then we can have the fountains again. And they do give us a nice boost to attractiveness there as well. But it's not enough for the next level. Or for the final level, unfortunately. We do need something else for that. And I know what. I mean, we do have some additional animals, right? From our treasure hunt, we do have one. Hi. Yep, the do or the alligator there at least. I thought we would have more, especially for the zoo from our Game expeditions. Day. Ah, yes, and this one here dropped us, uh, dropped us, climbed us again to the highest attractiveness there. And you reached a new palace level because of that. So the alligators here, well, that's tigers. I think they're in here, right? Yeah, in that building there. Beautiful. So there we have that exquisite metropolis once again. Let's go back to the Arctic. We still have that quest here. Sail to our ship. You endure where others I promise and with I that we do get some two legendary items here for the airship you. one and for the museum thank one. For bringing back my dear John. And with that off she goes with her John. Hopefully shaving is spared and having a good shower before she touches him. Now, with the Ariadne, where is my item though? Oh, it's on board of the Freedom too now. I don't know why, but we need to unload it of course, because I want to get that back here now to um, Crown Falls and we can do that with the airship. So of course, the airship needs to arrive in Crown Falls there too, for people to see my achievement. A bold new expedition. So those two items. Oh, and the collection of lost expedition relics, right? We do have another one. And let's get this one here now to... Airship on patrol. 
Nope, not on patrol, but on to Cape Trelawney. And off it goes, and airships are really fast. So they're actually a really good substitute to ships because they're much faster and traversing the continents, that is. From up there, back again then, hopefully. And just a little bit later, the airship now arrives in Crown Fold. So the first airship to arrive here, and not the last. We're going to have lots of trade routes with the airship there. And the people just stand there in awe. At least that's what we imagine as the airship is coming in. And that is looking pretty cool there too. Now that we can see the city from above here with the airship. As we look on that massive city there, absolutely lovely. And yeah, let's unload at least this one, this one, and this one here. This one here we can equip. So that is something for movement speed plus 20%. Um, let's get some additional resources here so we don't go back empty-handed. Timber, we have enough. Um, steel beams, we might need one. Let's actually take two of that. Oh, I'm at war again. Kidding me. Windows and reinforced concrete. Right, and with that, let's go back to the Arctic. To the cold. Off it goes. And we do have also a quest here from Old Nate. Old Nate wants you to recover a sacred pirate talisman before the pirates do, lest it bring about the reunification and research and either that or because it'll sell for a lot of gold. And yeah, let's do that quest and let's get, Come get with us, peace young. again. I, also have I don't know why I get this message from the anarchist all the time. I will have to look up that. Because that's not the, not, not the good way there. Right, let's use those items there quickly and let's get my salvager to Old Nate. It's this one here. Not to Old Nate, but to that spot here. Oh, are they hostile? They might be hostile, so let's rather... Let's see. Let's escort that salvager. Right, let's escort it. And what we can do too, ship of the lines, we can have, well, we can have the battle cruisers. So let's craft us some three battle cruisers now. Finally, we can do that now that we have the advanced weapons New there orders. as well. And while my salvager is on its way, let's get over here, museum. And find us a decent spot. Instead of the rare items there, instead of this one here, we can now have the HMS Hades replica. And that is a pretty cool one. Look at that. <laughs> nice one. Where all the treasure is from our expeditions. From our quests that we've done so far. From rewards. Oh, right. Wait a second. Here we can have... I think another one here. Yeah, so we can have then four of them here. I like that. Oh, that's fine for now as well. Here we can have the Talakal necklace and Mizuan house ruin. I really love the details in that case here that we found. Very nice. So that's that. Um, for the zoo, we have found something in the Arctic. It's not really an epic item or something, but at least the Ivory Gull has survived the frozen wastes of the north. And now it can enjoy a nice, warm, sunny day here in my zoo. And we still have that treasure hunt here. And yes, they were already attacking my salvage there, so let's destroy those frigates here. They are not really fighting back this time. A bit shocked, perhaps, because there's so many ship of the lines. Oh yeah, now it shot back at least once. But that's it. Let's go to that spot there. I'm eager to see what it is when there are two frigates defending it. Ring of Calicro. Let's get this one back to Old Nate. And the reward is really just a bit of money. But, but at least we did this one and found another ancient artifact. My airship has arrived back in the Arctic with some building materials. So our next goal is now to settle on one of these plateaus and get the gas out of it for Crown Falls. Stay tuned. <laughs> 